All right, last, finally, page three of our review sheet. We only have three problems to look at here. So let's start looking. We want to find, um, these are similar polygons. We want to find the value of x. So here we see that x is at mn. So we need to find the same side over here in the other one that is between the two arcs and the three arcs. So here's my two arcs and my three arcs. So nm is going to correspond with CB. My other two sides between the one arc and the two arc, LM, will correspond between the one arc and the two arc, AB. So, I'm not going to be too colorful on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and throw everything in here. We have NM, we have the X plus 6 over that 10. We're going to set that equal to, go back over here, LM, X plus 9 over 14. I can simplify these numbers by dividing them by 2, so I get smaller numbers. This will now become a 5, this will become a 7. Okay, so no longer with that 10, no longer with that 14. We're going to cross multiply. We're going to have x plus 6 now times a 7, so 7 on the outside, x plus 6 on the inside. We'll set that equal to 5 times x plus 9, it's 5 on the outside, x plus 9 on the inside. So we need to go through, make sure that we're doing our distribution. 7 times x, 7x. 7 times a positive 6 gives me a positive 42. Set this equal to the other distribution. 5 times x gives me a 5x. 5 times a positive 9 gives me a positive 45. I'm going to go ahead and move my variable here, get rid of that 5x on the right, move it over here. So we're going to wind up with 2x plus 42, equal to, bring that 45 down. Next step, move the 42, subtract it to get rid of it, move it over here. So now we're left with 2x equals, we're only going to be left with 3. So when we divide both sides by that 2, we're going to see we're going to get 3 over 2, which is one of our answer choices right here. Okay? 16, set up for us. Cross, multiply, divide. That's all we got to do. Simple and sweet. I'm going to rewrite it so that I have my own work. It's a little bit bigger. I got x over 1.12 is equal to 1 over 5. Not worried about any simplification here. 5 times x gives me 5x equal to 1 and 12 hundredths times 1, 1 and 12 hundredths. Divide each side by that 5. x is then going to give us 224 thousandths, 0.224, right here. Last problem, we are almost there. All right, so we need to find x and mention what the scale factor is. So we need to remember um, we're looking at, we're going from A, B, C, D to D, E, C. So A, B, C, D will be our original or old, and then D, E, C is going to be our new. So this is when we go to find our scale factor in a little bit. Let's go ahead and solve for x first, all right? We have here that side A, B here is going to correspond to DE. So we can set up our 3x minus 2 over that 2x. We will set that equal to, let's cross multiply, or not cross, find our other, the other two sides, I mean, yeah, they got to correspond, right? Let's double check. AC, our outer two letters, and DC, our outer two letters. So then we had Triangle ABC on top over here, so we need to make sure that we keep that 25 on top. And we have the 20 on bottom. I'm simplifying. I don't want to deal with these huge numbers. Okay? We can simplify this to 5 over 4. It's not as smaller numbers. So let's go ahead and start this out. We're going to multiply. Again, doesn't matter which one you start with. I now have 4 times 3x minus 2 set equal to, kind of made that a little sloppy, 5 times 2x will just give me 10x, okay? Distribution, 4 times a 3x is going to give me 12x. 
4 times a, uh-oh, negative 2 will give me a negative 8. And then nothing happens to the 10x just yet. Now, um, we're going to watch what's going to happen here because I see a lot of things going on where students are getting a little confused with the negatives. And so what's happening is students are wanting to say, okay, I'm going to subtract this 10x over here. If I subtract that 10x from both sides, these cancel. I've got 2x minus 8. And then I saw this all over the place on the quiz. Students are now dividing by 2. You can't. X is not on its own. Okay, we are subtracting 8. We still have an equal sign. Where'd your equal sign go? What's over here? Well, we canceled them out. The whole point is zeroing it out. Okay, so this is what ends up happening in this situation. So once we, if we want to move that smaller variable, or the variable to the smaller coefficient, this is what ends up happening. So then I need to move the 8 to the other side. And then that's going to make it a little bit prettier for us because we will have 2x equals 8. Finally, dividing by that 2. Now that we have an equal sign, the variable on one, the constant on the other, x is going to equal 4. So there is, there is part of the problem. Now we need to find the scale factor. Our scale factor, remembering new over original or new over old. So here's our new. So instead of plugging in for x, let's just take that side. We've got our 20 over the corresponding side over here, 25. This will simplify down to 4 fifths as your scale factor. So you'll have 4 as one answer and 4 fifths as the other. Good luck on your test.